Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jagada Saravanan, Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics. Today, the topic which we are going to discuss is problems on Laplace transform. This video lecture includes, we are going to discuss in detail about the elementary functions for which we are going to take Laplace transform while solving the problem and one of the property of Laplace transform that is first shifting theorem how to be used while solving the problem these two we are going to discuss the first the problem is find the Laplace transform of L of 3 cos 3t cos 4t The first we have to read the question carefully. That is, if it is only if the question is asked L of 3 cos 3t, then to solve it is very, very easy because the formula which is available L of cos a t, the formula which is available is S by s square plus a square. So now cos 3t that is cos a t we can substitute there. If it is only a single the trigonometric function cos 3t is there we can avoid this formula easily we can solve. But the given problem two trigonometric functions are there. That is, one is cos 3t, another one is cos 4t. The two trigonometric functions, they are combined with the mathematical operation multiplication. If it is only a single trigonometric function, whether it is cos or sine, the formula which is available using Laplace transform easily we can substitute. But if the trigonometric functions under the operations, multiplications, the relevant is there any trigonometric formula is there, we have to search. The first point while reading the question, if the trigonometric functions are involved, this we have to keep it in our mind. So we will concentrate now the solution. So L of the capital L represents how to read that is Laplace transform of our given function. That is our given function is 3 cos 3t cos 4t. It's fine. What is the relevant actually trigonometric function? That is, here it is given. 2 cos A cos B equal to cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B. This trigonometric function, we uh, the formula we selected because in our given the function, 2 cos functions are there, to cos trigonometric terms are there. Now, here A is there, then what about our given problem? So A is there, in our given problem, 3t is there. Here in the formula B is there, here 4t is there. So wherever A, we will substitute 3t, in the place of B, we will substitute 4t. So, yeah, after substituting, before that, one point we have to notice it. Here, 2 cos A cos B, it is there. But in the formula, in the given problem, 3 is there. But according to the formula, 2 is there. 
So we want two. So multiply and divide by two. In the next step, it is done. Yeah, fine. Now in this place, we are going to substitute this formula. Yeah, here is the the substitution part. It is there. Now three by two, it is written as it is. L of L is written cos a plus b. So according to our problem, a is three t, b is four t. So cos of a plus b that is three t plus four t plus cos of three t minus four t. So three t plus four t it is cos seven t. Now cos of three t minus four t it is cos of minus t. But here it is written only cos t. How we neglected this negative sign because the trigonometric formula cos of minus theta it's nothing but cos theta. According to that, cos of minus t is nothing but cos t. This is the last step in the previous slide. It is written once again. Now, Laplace transform of cos seven t plus cos t. That is, Laplace transform of two terms are there. Two trigonometric terms are there. One is cos seven t, another one is cos t. Put together, there is no formula at all. Laplace transform formula. We have very less formulas in Laplace transform. Regarding cos, we have only one formula, L of cos a t formula, which is available. That is. S by S square plus A square, but here L of two are there. How to do it? We are going to use the linearity property. What is linearity property? The linearity property. The main basic concept is Laplace transform of here one function. It is there. That is f of t. It is multiplied by some constant c one plus another function is there g of t. It is multiplied by the constant c two. That is l of for one function plus the second function, which is equal to the constant which has taken out Laplace transform of the first function that is f of t. And C two, the constant it has taken be out. Laplace transform of second function. Easy to remember the linearity property is the Laplace transform of two or more functions, which is equal to Laplace transform of the sum of each function. It can be written according to that. Now we will come back to our problem. Our problem Laplace transform of two trigonometric functions. So we can L of cos seventy plus L of cos t. We can write it. So it is written here. This are three by two. It is written as it is. So L of cos seventy plus L of cos t. So it's only L of now. Which formula which is available with us in Laplace transform? That is regarding the trigonometric, the term L of cos a t. That picture we brought in. That is L of cos seven t. We have L of cos a t. So a is playing the role seven. So yes by we can see it. This is the formula for. L of cos a t. It's once again it is put it here. So the three by two is here. So now yes, yes square plus y square. So in the place of y, seven is written. 
Next, here the A is nothing but, here the A is nothing but 1. So, S by S square plus A square. So, the A is 1. So, 3 by 2. So, S by S square plus 7 square plus S by S square plus 1 square. The common yes we have taken out. So 3 by 2. Now it has become 3s by 2. The leftover 1 by s square plus 49 plus 1 by s square plus 1. The next step we are noticing here. So we have taken here the LCM we have taken. So you can see it here. 3s by 2, here s square plus 1, here s square plus 49 equal to s square plus 49, s square plus 1. s square, s square, 2s square, 49 plus 1, 50. The denominator is written as it is. Now, here 2 and 50 is there, the real numbers. In this 2 is common. Here noticing already here 1, 2 is there. So we have taken out, that is this part. So we can write like this. 2 of s square plus 25. This 2 and this 2 getting cancelled. The remaining 1, 3 s of s square plus 25 divided by s square plus 1 into s square plus 49. So we will discuss one more problem. Find the Laplace transform of f of t which is defined as f of t equal to t lies between 0 to 2 then f of t is 1. If the t lies between 2 and 4, then f of t is 2. If t lies between 4 and 6, then f of t is 3. t is greater than 6. So 6 to where? It is not defined. It is understood that it is infinite. So 6 to, if it is, that is 6 to infinity, then f of t is defined as 0. Now, the Laplace transform formula which is defined by, so how we can read this one, L of f of t, that is Laplace transform of the function f of t which is defined by e power minus st into f of t dt and which is integrated from 0 to infinity. This is the Laplace transform formula. In the formula, the integral, the range from 0 to infinity. But according to our problem, it is given the t 0 to 2, 1 is f of t and 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to infinity. This intervals we have to insert between our formula 0 to infinity. So now we inserted that is L of f of t. Laplace transform of the function f of t is integral 0 to 2. So e power minus s t f of t dt. Next, 2 to 4, the formula it is written. Then 4 to 6, e power minus st f of t dt. Next, t is greater than 6. So 6 to, it is not defined. It is understood that 6 to where? Where we have to stop? It is infinite. So 6 to infinity. Fine. Now, whether we are going in a correct path or we did any careless mistake, 
while inserting the limits we can cross check it that is 2 yes we inserted correctly 4 yes 6 then the leftover 0 to infinity that is only our laplace formula 0 to infinity e power minus st f of t dt so we are moving in a correct path without committing any mistake yes now fine now the t which lies between 0 to 2 what about f of t clearly in the problem it is given if t lies between 0 to 2 then f of t is 1 so f of t is replaced by 1 t lies between 2 to 4 t lies between 2 to 4 then f of t is 2 so f of t is replaced by the function that is 2 next t lies between 4 and 6 according to our problem f of t is defined by the real number 3 next t is greater than infinity it is not given in the question it is given only t is greater than 6 from 6 to infinity then f of t is defined in our given problem is 0 that is the function which is defined this particular interval is 0 yes we substituted now first second three so we have four uh, integrals among the four integrals the last one is getting cancelled because the function is zero zero into anything zero yeah that is the reason if you are noticing here the last the integral the value is zero remaining everything the first one is we know it the multiplicative identity the one it is the mathematically its name is multiplicative identity because if you multiplying any term or any number with one we will be getting the same result so the first integral it is written 2 into e power minus st it is written 2 into e power minus st here 3 into e power minus st yeah that is only written uh, here in this step what what are the changes we brought in that is here the previous step 2 into e power minus st in this place it is that 2 just we brought it uh, before the integral this all to make uh, uh, we don't want to give room for uh, complicate while doing the integrations to making ourselves in a confusion mode to avoid that the constant terms we are bringing in front of the integral here also the three we brought it yeah next one here e power minus st is there that we have to do the integral with respect to t so e power minus st dt this integral we have to do it so e power minus st divided by integral we are doing with respect to t we are doing so divided by the coefficient of t very simple thing the coefficient of t we want it then leave t the remaining is minus s so just we can put it these are all small easy technique to avoid the careless mistakes so e power minus st yes e power minus st divided by the coefficient of t leave t the remaining we can put it divided by minus s yeah, same here we followed it this 2 is as it is here also the same one 2 to 4 the 3 as it is here also e power minus st by minus s next here that's what to avoid uh, some careless mistakes purpose here also we can inside keeping also we can substitute the limit uh, nothing wrong in it more we want avoid the careless mistake purpose this minus s is the just we brought it outside that is minus 1 by s 
here also this minus s we brought it so minus 2 by s here this is becoming out minus 3 by s because why we are bringing out s only the thing is that to avoid careless mistake and, and we are going we did the integration with respect to t we are going to substitute the values in the place of t so nowhere we are connected with s yeah fine now here we can see it now this minus 1 by s what about here e power minus st 0 to 2 the upper one is 2 which place we have to substitute we have to where t is there that place we have to substitute the value what is the reason because we did the integration with respect to t fine now the t place we substituted 2 so my s yes into 2 minus 2 s yes. this minus how we got it it is formula minus that is the integration upper value we will substitute minus the lower one so this minus is the formula minus that is only here next the t place we will substitute the lower value that is the t is taking the value 0 so e power 0 it's nothing but 1 the first one we completed so we completed the first one the second one minus 2 by s is written as it is now what we did the first one same the similar mode now t place we will substitute 4 so it has become now e power minus 4s this is formula minus that is upper minus lower next t place we will substitute 2 it is it has become now e power minus 2s it's fine here we completed the second one also so third one minus 3 by s upper one is 6 so in the place of t we will substitute 6 so e power minus 6 s formula minus the lower one is 4 so e power minus 4 s so just uh, now the previous step we are noticing we are going to now uh, completely this minus 1 by s term we are going to take inside then it will become minus 1 by s e power minus 2 s this 2 we will multiply so it will become plus 1 by 2 s similarly here also minus 2 by s we will take inside like that we are going to completely remove the bracket so after removing the bracket is a single line the stroke without bracket completely we removed it and we wrote it now we will do the simplification now this minus 1 by s it is written here if you are noticing here this one this one this uh, uh, what I circled here here e power minus 2 s here 2 by s is there here minus 1 by s is there it's nothing but 1 by s that's what it is written here next e power this what I am putting the star you can notice it here e power minus 4 s here also e power minus 4 s this is minus 2 by s this is plus 3 by s it's nothing but 1 by s so this 1 by s it's a this term also we got it this the last term is here it is written yeah we can do one more problem find the laplace transform of e power minus t of 3 sine 2t minus 5 cos h 2t fine so laplace transform of the question it is given e power minus t 3 of 3 sin 2t minus 5 cos h 2t it is written in words laplace transform of mathematically how to write l of the given function it is written fine now we have to think what are the formulas which is available with us regarding Laplace transform? First, we have to 
immediately we should not start uh, solving the problem now first we will think a uh, fraction of second only if it is l of sin 80 is there yes very comfortable Re formula it is there a by s square plus a square the job is over only if it is l of cos h 80 is there simple s by s square minus a square it is there but here one term it is there e power minus t that is common under multiplication that is e power minus t is multiplied by the first trigonometric function 3 into sin 2t then e power minus t is multiplied by minus 5 into cos h 2t so now we are facing where here why this e power minus t how to if it is only this part the question is there we are very very comfortable because the two formulas is there we will substitute easily we will come out but these two are multiplied by e power minus t then we will take help from the theorems on laplace transform the first one is whatever the functions the f of t in laplace which is multiplied by e power minus at strictly the first shifting theorem is only for this that is the function whatever it is the function it should be multiplied by e power minus at or e power at then it is like this the given problem then we have to select fast shifting theorem yeah what is fast shifting theorem now this how to read that is laplace transform of the function f of t which is equal to we can write it f bar of s then yeah, if the function that is our f of t is multiplied by e power minus at then if it is only f of t f bar of s but if f of t is multiplied by e power minus at then f bar of s this s is replaced by s plus a that we have to easy way to remember if the function f of t is multiplied by e power minus at then f of t only we will find the laplace transform that is l of f of t the final answer we know it after substituting the laplace transform formula the result will be in terms of s the s is nothing but its real or complex number that we know it this yes in the final result is a replaced by s plus a this is only the basic concept of first shifting theorem if it is e power minus at then s plus a if it is e power at then f bar of s minus a easily we can remember just opposite if it is a plus here minus here minus means here plus yes now we will uh, come back to our given problem this is only our problem yeah fine so now l of this is our f of t complete is f of t what is our formula that is l of e power minus at f of t this is f of t this is e power minus at fine what is our a a is uh, so we know it minus t means there a is playing the role one so l of f of t only f of t only we will find the laplace then what about here this e power minus t purpose what we are going to find the laplace result the final result s is replaced by s plus 
Why s plus 1? Because here minus 1 is playing a role. According to our problem, minus 1 is playing a role. That is the reason here we have taken plus 1. Suppose if the question is given e power minus 2t, then our a is playing a role minus 2. Then we will write s tends to s is replaced by s plus 2. So very simple thing we have to. So f of t Laplace for this purpose. S is replaced by S plus 1. Yeah. Now, Laplace transform of two terms. One is sine, trigonometric function. Another one is cos H. Laplace transform of two functions at a time. How is it possible? We have to split. Is there any property? Yes. The linearity property using, yeah, it is written here. By using the linearity property, the basic concept of linearity property is Laplace transform of two or any more functions. That is written as Laplace transform of the first function, Laplace transform of second function. It is a theory part, that is the formula. Only two uh, functions are given. If more is there, then the third one also we will be writing. Here constants are playing a role. Constants will be written before that Laplace transform. So comparing with our problem, our C1 is 3. We have to agree that. Then C2 is minus 5. So Laplace transform of sin 2t we can write separate then laplace transform of cos h 2t separate we can write how we can write obeying this linearity property which is helping us to split the two functions first function plus second function in terms of laplace transform yeah fine now it is written here 3 into L of sin 2t minus 5 into L of cos h 2t. So it is written once again. Yeah. Now, L of sin 18, the formula which is available, a by s square plus a square. L of cos h 80 is the formula is s by s square minus a square. Now we will compare with our problem, A is playing what role in our given problem? A is nothing but 2. Here, A is playing the role 2. So, we will substitute. The 3 is written as it is. Here, A plus we substituted 2. So, 2 by S square plus 4. This minus 5 is written as it is. S by S square minus 4. So, S tends to S plus 1. Now 3 into 2, 6. S square plus 4 minus 5S by S square minus 4. So S is replaced by final answer S plus 1. Now we can see it. So wherever S, here is there, here is there, here. So it is completely replaced by S plus 1. So we did here s plus 1 the whole square, s plus 1, here s plus 1 the whole square. So 6 by s plus 1 the whole square plus 4, so it is written again. So 6, this is nothing but a plus b the whole square formula, a square that is s square, 2s, here plus 1 is there, here 4 is there, so it is combined plus 5. S square plus 2S, here 1 is there, here formula minus 4, it's nothing but minus 3. So, so far we discussed how to use the first shifting theorem and some elementary functions we did. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.